Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today is a big day my um, processors has come in for my new server the Lenovo X3650 model 4 there and it came with a couple of processors that is on the screen and um, well I have wanted to exchange those for a while even though I haven't really put this server into production yet because well the processors they're slow um, let's uh, go to the screen and I'll explain what this is okay here are the processors I'm in the BIOS of the server server is right over here uh, yellow light because I was playing with hard drives in one of the last videos um, but these are the processors there are two of them and there are 2.4 gigahertz and it's the E5-2609 and these are quad cores they are not that fast and it's like the entry level of this CPU they come a bit smaller but not by much so instead I have this package here that I received from Germany I bought this on eBay um, eBay Germany it was an auction and uh, let's just go into it this package has been long on the way it was sent to me uh, the 5th of January and I apparently received it on the 11th of January but it was sent by this company called um, Hermes They're that company transport company and well it was they delivered it to a package center in Denmark not far from where I wanted it they didn't they didn't deliver it on the address that I wanted but I was supposed to go pick it up at this package center um, which they forgot to tell me about just put on this strip here there and take these processors out I have been in, in close uh, communication with the seller of these to figure out where the hell they went so um, he was a lot of help there we are two big processors bit dusty so and it seems like it's not very visible but this should be the Intel Xeon E5 2600 we're gonna find that out when we plug it in in just a little bit not that well wrapped but I'll be very careful put these to the side and uh, shut down the server again I have some heating compound this is the really cheap stuff and I also have this I was planning on doing a video where I compare these two um, this should be a better brand cost twice as much as this one even though this only holds 4 gram and I do believe this one holds 30 grams so um, sometime in the future I want to do a comparison see um, if this is worth anything yeah they brag about it should be good but well not sure that it will be so but I'm actually just gonna be using this it has been working fine so far so just wanted to um, promote that upcoming video I don't know when I will do it the E5 2660 is an 8 core 2.3 gigahertz processor where it, uh, it can it can turbo boost up to about 3 gigahertz so I do believe that this is my first 8 core processor um, that I have and I do also believe that I need to clean some of the lakes here there's something there just down there so I need to try that off with something very carefully I paid 100 euros for two of these processors and I had to pay 11 euros in shipping from Germany um, the last money there probably wasn't worth it because the shipping was hell another thing to keep in mind is the memory in a server like this um, the new processors should be able to have a faster memory speed than the Oh, the memory in the server is right now running 1066 megahertz that they are gonna run also when I put in the new processors but if I take out some memory leave the third uh, memory slot empty in each of the four memory channels 
uh, it dropped down to 256 gigabytes but the memory speed will rise up to 1866 megahertz when I do that but right now we're just gonna exit the BIOS so that I can take the server down and shut it down here Okay, here we are on the other side. Taking the plastic. So, okay, here are the two processors, obviously. So we're gonna take out those. Release this handle here, take out the heat sink. Need to clean that a little bit. I can see that this is the original heat sink compound that the server came with that is still on there. I'm gonna be cleaning those before putting them back on again. And there is another arm to release the processor. Like that. Um, on each side. There. And this goes up. Um, as you can see on the processors, Processors does not have any lakes. The lakes are in the socket of the server, which means that the processors don't break as easy. But you have to be very careful about the almost thousand, two thousand lakes that are on this thing because they will break really easily. So I'm gonna kind of do this as quick as possible, not to have the processor or the the lakes down here vulnerable for too long so I'm gonna this is just a bit of toilet paper just making sure that the lakes are kind of clean so just gonna get rid of this put it over there and I'm just gonna make sure it goes this way so we're gonna take that one out put it away and put this one in very careful. Like that. And close it up. And this one goes first. So this one goes down first. And then you can take this one down as well. Hmm. Maybe. There. So now that is good. I'm just gonna this off it seems like this has been wiped off a couple of times so I don't know how that how good that is but oh. and I'm gonna give it some cooling compound the way that I always do this and I'll be cleaning this off just outside I don't want this dusty thing inside so that is off. The old processors used um, some wattage, I forget how much. This processor uses 95 watts. This cooler is not supposed to handle more than 95 watts. If I want a faster processor in this server, I need something that can, I need a cooler for it that can handle more watts. Uh, these are available, they are not very, um, they are pretty hard to get used but they are available so if I want faster processors than the ones that I just put in here the, the E5 2660 I would have to go out and look for new um, heat sinks as well so let's put that one oh it goes in this way and it goes down that's one one more to go There we are, two new processors. Awesome! So, we're ready to close up. So, if you have followed my video series on this, uh, preparing this server, 
you will know that I've been curious because at some point the IMM adapter said that there was six core processors in the server but I'm afraid this is the E5 2609 which is just a quad core processor 2.4 gigahertz but well that mystery is solved okay this is gonna be the moment of truth um, do they work or did I just get butt fucked for a hundred euros time will show yikes power on and it powers on do we get anything on the screen that would be um, nice that would actually be very nice right about now it would be very very nice doesn't sound like that. E, and it turned off again. And it turns on again. And it turns on and off again. This doesn't look too promising. No picture. Hmm. Weird. I think we have to open it up and have a another look at that. This doesn't look good. Wonder if those two processes are alike or what's going on here. Okay, I have drawn the server out of the rack and opened it up. It's still trying to power on, which it's not succeeding with. So I'm gonna try and see if I can find the error on this. Uh, it might be the processor. There's a good chance of that. It might also be that these two 550 watt power supplies just isn't enough to boot this. I highly doubt it, but it's a place to start. So I'm gonna remove some of the RAM in this to uh, save on power. I'm just gonna remove the last block in each of the four channels on each processor and see if, um, if that does anything. Okay, I have removed eight blocks of memory from the server and it really doesn't seem like this does anything. That wasn't pro That was probably not it. Still nothing on the screen. I have block in the screen. So, okay, I'm gonna take processor number two out, see um, if that will help me any. Okay, I've taken processor number two out. I'm gonna put the heatsink on though, just to, um, because I don't have the cover for this. So just so if, if I drop something, um, I won't bend those pins. So, oh, this is gonna be exciting. We're gonna put some power on to the server again. And it will probably power up in just a bit. It did not do anything. It just booted again. This memory over here doesn't matter because that's for processor number two, it's not being used. So I guess this is a no-go as well. Okay, I'm gonna try and take out processor number one then and um, put processor number two in here instead. Well this was supposed to be a walk in the park. Guess it didn't turn out that way. this very carefully away just checking if everything is good everything looks great mm, this should be it 
guess that was a bit too cheap so I'm just gonna give it a little bit we just want a picture on this right now so this is kind of okay so we'll put that one in Lock that down and I'll put some power on it again Let's see if that processor will work in my server This is an Intel Confidential 0A90 E5 2300Hz A4 01 or C1 05 M6 76. Uh, okay, so I think this is some kind of a engineering sample stuff that's probably why I'm not having much luck with it it's probably not open up for it in the BIOS of the server so it just boots Um, I probably did get butt fuck here here's the other one the, the text is a bit clearer on this one but um, Intel confidential well probably an engineering sample or something Well, that brought me absolutely nowhere. Um, here is two E5 2660s that does not work in my system. Probably because they're engineering samples. Um, so, um, anyone suggest what I can use these for? Or if you want to trade them with me for something awesome that I need. Maybe a couple of other ones that are just as good. Well. At least I'm in the market for a couple of new processors. I might as well go on eBay and search them out right away. So, well, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And if you do meet me and I walk weirdly, you know why. Have a really nice day. Bye-bye.